Hello everyone, you're here and today I'm going to show you how you can edit bins to change the color of particles. So you might have ran into that issue where you changed all the particle texture files but the particles still were the original color. For example, I was working on an Ari skin trying to make her particles go old, but only from texture editing they were green in game. So that didn't quite work out and that means that the particles are locked inside the bins where you have to code them to edit them. First of all, we will need to get those bins. So you will need to open Obsidian. Then you will want to open the what client file, which you can find in Game Data Final Champions. So for me, it's Ari, not the this one. The NUS is language one, so you'll need this one. Now here in Data, all those bins are the ones you'll have to look inside. Because they all can contain particles. No, I just want to extract. Guess I'll put it in my download folder. Now, as you can see, all of those bin names are really jumbled up now. But therefore, this is here. And as you can see, those names in here correspond to them over here. Now what you will need to do is check all of those which contain the skin you want to edit. For example, I want to edit base Ari, so I will need to look all of those with skin 0 in them. But I already was editing some of her, so I don't need to get them again. So I can just delete everything and go to my bin file. Which is here. Now as you can see, all of those were edited except this one. Which is of course one of the biggest ones and I didn't want to edit it earlier. So now you will need a color code. And But you don't need an RGBA colors but XRGBA. So, you'll we'll just get a random color. And now you here you have the color code in... XRGB and RGBA. What you can do now is either use Wuxi Plus, which I'm gonna link because I'm not sure if you can download it anymore, so I have it put on my Google Drive. There's an XRGBA converter. So in the red we have 226, in the green we have 55, and in blue we also have 55. The alpha you can skip because I would not recommend editing those in the coding either. No, but you have to type in something. So now you, here you have the values. So you can just copy them out and lay them out like this. Because there are always those three values in a row. Those are the ones I need for Ari later. But what you really have to pay attention to is they are written with a comma in here. So when you copy them out you have to replace the comma with a dot. Because otherwise it will give you errors. Now what you can also do to get those value the XRGBL values is simply use a calculator. So you want to type in your R value for me. So that's 226 and divide it by 255. Now as you can see it also gives you a value really similar to this one. And that's basically how we can also get there. You don't want to download Wuxi Plus. Now that we have our values, we need the next tool, which is Rito Bin by Moonshadow. Now, as you can see, there are two axes here which you will need. Um, the first one is to get the bin file to a simple text file, which you can edit in a pr programming software, and the other one is to make it into a bin again. So what you want to do now is take your bin and drag it into the Rito bin to text.exe. Now as you can see it makes you a python file down here. And that you can just open. I'm using this visual code editor but you can also use notepad++ for example. So now you have code. Lots and lots of code. They are quite long usually. This one has 
3,000 lines nearly. So going scrolling through all that would be really annoying. So what you want to do is go to Edit, Find and Files. And now what I like to type in is that line, color, embed, value color, because and this one and the birth color and that value color are color values actually. So for example, if you jump to the first one, here, this, this one is a color set, but it's basically just white or invisible or whatever, something like that. So here you can see the times. I wouldn't mess with those because the particles m look, hair might look odd afterwards. And there you can usually see the colors, but if I'm correctly one is full, if all three are one, it's white, so I wouldn't change that either. And here you can also see some particle names, which usually tell you which cor which those color values correlate to. So let's just jump to the next one. So here you can see this is actually a color value. This one. So now what you want to do is take your three colors that you have, just copy them, and then pay attention that you just replace the fr replace the first three values. I wouldn't change the last one because that one has to do with opacity, so that's basically alpha. And it's probably the best if you just leave it out. Leave it as it is. I mean, you could play around with it, but yeah. Then just jump to the next one. That one is also only white. That one has a lot of different times, but somehow also only loads wi white or no color. That one either. That one either. No. 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 Yes. So here you do the same screen again. Drop it in. Edit it. Done. No. Yes. Adding more colors. I don't know when I already added those apparently. And now you actually see a gradient. Or here, that's usually gradient colors. They should look the same, but yeah, just to make them fancy. I am I got lazy, so I just won't <laughs> take m multiple colors. But yeah, what you want to do now is replace all those lines that are not colors with only ones, and just put in your colors. Oh, I didn't miss some. Oh, I missed. Them. I definitely missed those. No, I didn't. Um. Here's more colors. And more colors. You'll have to be a bit careful because you can also have those. They can also ha the bottom list can also have three values like that, and those are the size of the particles. You can sometimes see it because they go above one, which colors can't. But yeah, those will have different values in here, so you can usually tell. I mean, they shouldn't even pop up when you search for the, the color embed value color, so it shouldn't be a problem. Usually when you get more to the bottom, the, par the bins start kind of being a bit more weird, but should be fine. Sometimes they are really long lists like that one. Hmm. 
don't know. might be a better way to actually do this but I'm not a coder and I don't know my way around Visual Studio that much but this is just how I do it it can be quite tedious because some bins are even longer than that so you can just hope that you'll never really have to do it You have to be really careful not to delete any lines or change up some of the brackets or have too many color values because then it won't work again to be turned into a bin but luckily the uh, text to bin exe gives you error co like error messages it tells you where the error was so now I'll just go and save it because I'm through the list. Then you drag it onto text to read again, and you have a bin file again. So now you just want to do that with all of your files and then hope it looks good in game. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope this video helped you and see ya.